going on YouTube is Austin Holloman and I am now as you guys can see in Cartagena by looking at the buildings in the background you have the typical beach city setup and I'll tell you guys right now about Cartagena I've only been here since 7 a.m. and it's about 1 o'clock now and it is extremely hot like it is just as hot as Cali was but it feels like I'm sitting in a fucking it feels like I'm sitting in a, a balloon full of water. Like that's how humid it is because it's a beach city. Oh, I'm trying to make a decision, you guys, before I go anywhere else. You know, I wanted to go another country after this. But I, to be honest with you guys, I'm really getting tired of traveling. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop traveling. But I literally need to find one place to sit down at for three months where I could have enough dates to generate Patreon content and still be cheap enough and it still be my all around place that I really enjoy. And I think, you know, that Cali, Colombia may be that place. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go back to Paraguay or will I go to Cali, Colombia and just stay there for a while. Only thing I don't like about Cali, Colombia is that salsa dancing. Like I, I know they say, oh, that's how you connect. I don't give a damn, I'm not doing, I'm not, I cannot dance, I'm not learning no salsa. Now you ain't gonna try, cause I've tried already considering doing that because doing these vlogs are great and I really enjoy showing you guys the city doing these vlogs but it gets stressful as I've stated many times having to walk around and try to find stuff to do sometimes I make it harder than it is but it's it's not easy because uh, I have to put out stuff that's going to get a good amount of views as well uh, so I thought about just doing IRL streams I was looking at a kit that I could buy where I get a camera and basically like a um basically like a almost like a Starlink, but it's not the Starlink, it's something smaller that's a little more portable. Uh in an encoder and all that where I can pretty much walk around and just show you guys the the city in 1080p or 4K. And that would make doing vlogs a lot easier for me because I would be live stream vlogging and then I could just go back and chop up the stream. But we are about to go to the gym here at Body Tech here in Boca, Boca Grande. And then we're gonna meet with a good friend of mine that I've been needing to meet for two years since I started first started YouTube. And we have a chick that we're gonna see later on today. We're gonna have a lot of stuff that we're gonna do today because I'm only gonna be out here a couple of days. Or maybe not, who knows. Hola. Hola. Am I muted? Look. Oh, of course. Okay. All right. So this is what I was talking about. I was waiting on. We got Jay Fleming. He's been a guy that's been around since I very, very first started. If you guys are real OG subscribers, you were there whenever I did the interview with him way back when I was at the in the back of my barber shop Bro. doing my videos. Uh, tell everybody about your channel. What's up, y'all? It's Jay Fleming. Go ahead, subscribe to Jay Fleming uh, on YouTube. Also, check out my Facebook. Um, same thing, Jay Fleming. You'll see me just, yeah, go ahead. Give me a sub. Yeah, I focus on traveling. I mean, meeting a lot of brothers right now. I'm actually uh, helping a lot of brothers get into IT, trying to get a lot of brothers to make six figures. And, you know, I know a lot of guys want to get out the country. And that's kind of your key, your gateway to actually getting out of the United States is going into IT and being able to work remote. Okay. Um and what do you think about Cartagena so far? How long have you been out here? So Cartagena, I've been here about a month now, but I, I kind of I frequent Cartagena. That's basically where I'm mostly at, um, you know, or I'll be in like Cali or actually next month or a few, about 10 more days, I'm going to Ibaque. A lot of people don't go there, but I'm going to go ahead and go there. I know people out there. So, but Cartagena beautiful spot you love the ocean love the beach uh if you love traveling to islands this is definitely where to be all right so we about to hit the body to get a workout in you know we're gonna do some more exploring around the city for you guys so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already like and stay tuned and go subscribe to jay flimmer channel <laughs> I'm not 
All right, you guys, we just finished the workout, so now we about to uh, get something to eat. And I was telling Jay about the carnival diet because he said he usually gets sleepy after he works out, so I'm gonna, I wanna see if he wanna try this new strategy out that I got to stay looking fine, so you know. But it's a pretty nice mall over here. Just like any other mall I've been to in Colombia, it's always pretty nice. Let me see, I'm gonna put my camera over here without dropping it. Because if I drop it, my life is over. Yeah, it's a pretty nice mall. She was looking at you. <laughs> oh, damn. Gonna order this this uh beef, chicken, and whatever that other thing is, and then we gonna I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna get. There's some nice chicks in here. Uh this is some nice chicks in here. I guess. A lot of tourists. Uh, Damn. You see that? <laughs> uh, you guys, with the treats, uh, the treats on Jay tonight. Thank you very. I mean, not tonight, but today. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, you no know, problem, guys, no problem. you guys know I offered the cash out, but I really didn't want to pay, so he paid for it today. Okay, gotcha. So tell everybody what is the best thing about being in Cartagena like what's the funnest thing to do here uh the most fun you're gonna have is probably going to the Walt City um if you like going to the clubs uh there's always that uh they shut down a few clubs so I haven't been ever since I'm not a real club guy but you know this me either is. um you know you could go out there smoke hookah smoke cigars whatever you want to do also, you can go see the sites like uh, you can go to the mud volcano, uh, you know, just walk around the city, basically. Man, it's, or you can actually travel to the islands. That's my favorite part. Just going to one of the islands. Uh, Risotto, uh, Bora Bora, you know, whatever. We just got out the gym. And of course, I'm with the one and only, the one and only Austin Holland. Yes, What's sir. Up, dog? Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. It's the same guy I thought he was online. Oh, uh, yeah. The yeah. same guy. No different. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, it's glad to finally meet you, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, smash this real quick. You know, we got to feed the muscle. All uh, right, peace. Yeah. We just finished eating, so now we're about to go find out where the uh, Claro store is at and uh, put some more money on this phone. I don't like to do eSIMs because I downloaded the app and it said I think it was like eight gigabytes for $35. Versus if I get a SIM card with Claro and I put $35 on there for internet, it'll last me 40 or 50 days. So like I said, there's always a lot of nice stores in the Colombian malls to shop at. There's no reason to not be fly in Colombia. Every out of the three cities I've been to, let me just say South America in general. There's always nice stores to shop at in South America. Let me just say the whole world, actually. Because even in Southeast Asia and Africa, well, not all of Africa, I'm just going to stick to Kenya and that's it. The rest of those places didn't really have nice malls. But Southeast Asia and, Af and uh, Kenya, yeah. So as you guys can see, we have a beautiful view of the Caribbean right here. It's been a while, it's been about three months since I've been to a beach city, but it's good to be back. Uh, the more and more I travel, the more and more I don't mind being landlocked. 
in places like Paraguay, Cali, uh, Santiago. I don't mind being away from a beach, but it always feels good to be back with that humidity and that view and that culture of everybody walking around in shades and shorts and drinking on the beach. Y'all know I love to drink. Y'all know I love alcohol and cigars. I'm. You would think I would have a broken out face and be out of shape, but I'm trying to show you guys that you can enjoy the, the worst things. Cigars are not the worst thing, but you can enjoy them. As long as they're in moderation, you can still be healthy and happy. Maybe I'm just happy because I got you guys here. You guys make me happy. Hola, tu sabi donde era Claro? Claro para Claro. Para teléfono. Sí, para teléfono. Dentro. Claro. Ah, fui acá, más no vi. Hola. Saludos. Tu nombre? Valentina. Valentina. <laughs> oh, Jay is such a nice guy, and that's why you guys should go subscribe to his channel because he's helping the community out. Oh, my crib. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I need to go to the Claro. Okay, it's all good, man. Okay. All right, man. Take all right, yeah, hit me up, bro. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys. So we're going to walk uh, to the Claro. It's on the other side. See. She was sending me a choosing signal, but I could just look at her and tell that's not what I need to deal with. But anyway. Look at this amazing view of the city right here. I just love the beach cities. I'm telling you guys, I love the beach cities. I love life. I love the beach cities. So. Yeah, Cartagena is definitely a vacation city. I should have had my mom come out here instead of going to Nicaragua. Hey, so you know, it's some people on the beach. Not really like Brazil, but it's some people on the beach. We gonna keep walking though. The nice Hyatt Hotel right here. A lot of nice stuff. Very good air. We're gonna be out all day today. It's Saturday. So here we are walking up on what appears to be like a, a tourist destination site or whatever. And would you look at that? We're walking up on what appears to be a tourist destination site. Here, I believe this is the famous clock tower that everybody talks about right here. So, I'm gonna go in here and check it out. It's very nice out here, very nice. But I'm not in a race to take a picture in front of it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Ten pesos. Ah, no, no tengo efectivo, nada. Sí. Two por five dollars. No tengo efectivo. Gracias. No, no, no. Gracias. Gracias.
Bye bye. Huh? No, rest is. Hey, my guys. Leo! Hmm? For you. And. Yeah, it smells terrible over here. A lot of European tours here. A lot of European tours here. So we got the link back up of what's his name later, see what's going on. like me recording if you don't like ending up the fact if you don't like the fact that you ended up in my video get the hell out the tour zone I'm not gonna put my camera up in the damn tour zone I'm sorry There's a lot of them tours here but I'm not seeing as many uh, American tours here and I know that there's plenty of American tours here, but uh, The vibe is better than Medellin so far That shit in Medellin was getting on my nerves As you guys so after one hour of walking I finally made it to the street where the uh, cigar lounge is at so I'm About to go and find out. I don't know where it's at over here, but it's somewhere over here very nice city Hold on. Yo, pour it up. Hello. Alright, you guys. So, we're smoking a uh, Mr. Cigar Medium Toro. It's very, very good. Very, very good. It makes it's way better than the other Colombian cigars I had. But I need to stop by Claro to put some more data on my phone. I'm going to tell you guys why eSIM is pointless. So basically with Claro, I can put like 30 bucks on there and I'll be good for 30 to 40 days. But if I get this eSIM with this app, this Aerolas or whatever it is, if you go to Colombia, the most expensive package is five gigabytes for 30 days for $30. I'm telling you guys with Claro, it would literally be like 60 gigabytes for $30 or something. Either way it goes, this is a waste of money. So I'm still going to recommend you guys go to the store or the mall. Yes, it's a little less convenient because you have to leave your house, but this is not worth it at all. All right, you guys, so I just finished uh, smoking the cigar. It was absolutely amazing. Sunset right now here in Cartagena. And I will tell you this, the, um, the ladies out here on this side of town have that nice Brazilian golden looking skin that I'm seeing a lot of them down here so we're gonna get outside tonight I'm gonna show you guys what the nightlife looks like but it's it's definitely lit uh, it's a better vibe than Medellin because this is full of tours but it seems like there's a different type of tours here like it's more like I told you it's more Europeans it's a lot more older people here uh, it doesn't really feel like a lot of people so far I don't know yet but it doesn't seem like a lot of people are just trying to be on the high school you know trying to show out and put on you know it, it's not a, just a lot of that degeneracy energy here i definitely have a better energy being here so let's go ahead and go
you guys so my boots on the ground experience because that's what I'm best at right I'm gonna tell you guys Cartagena is definitely a vibe uh, it's definitely a Miami vibe for sure is there a lot of pay for play walking around yes I can tell by how some of the girls look by some of them by the way how some of them choose you guys know that pay for play choose is heavier than a normal chick would you know, more often than not uh, but I can say just by being here is definitely worth a visit. I can say by being here, if you're coming to Colombia, do not start in Medellin. Because I started in Medellin in 2022, and Medellin will give you a bad first impression to what the country of Colombia really has to offer. I'm, this is my third city now, uh, being in Cartagena, because I was like, oh, after Cartagena, I'm just gonna leave Colombia. But actually, after coming to this, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll go to Barranquilla next. Like, I, I actually could see myself promoting Colombia at this point. Medellin, I never promoted. Medellin is a great city, but I feel like it's been changed. Or maybe it has. I don't know. I'm not a Colombian, so I can't tell you. But I'm just telling you, for me, it's not Medellin is not a place that I would promote for my subscribers. Uh, I don't promote pay for play. I promote a certain type of agenda or a certain type of intent when traveling and living in these places and Medellin is not the place for that. I'm gonna go in here and get some water really quick, some sparkling water because that cigar gave me a little gas in my stomach. So we're gonna go in here and pick up some sparkling water. And then I'm gonna go home and take a shower and we will head out for the night. So if you have not already, click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you enjoy me giving my first hand opinion and putting in the effort to go to these cities for you and find out the real deal, support by joining the Patreon. Primarily, that's what I ask you to do because that's not a freebie, that's work. Or you can give me a freebie and drop a cash app at dollar sign Austin Holloman. Thank you. Hola. Sí, todavía está. Tiene que ser más de cinco. Cinco. Más de cinco. Sí. 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 Oh, uno más, ¿cómo es? Sí. sí. Ah, dos. Está bien. Sí. Gracias. Alright you guys, we are at Cafe Del Mar, which is like Cafe of the Sea. And uh, I'm assuming that translates to so we're about to go in here. It's a nice little venue, so. finished eating a meal it's about 30 dollars it was cold. it was it was pretty good uh this city like jay was just saying it has the miami look to it and then it has the little new orleans look to it with how narrow the streets look and the uh, architecture along the way and then i mean if you include the it just looks like new orleans man but it's a nice city so i was telling jay like why is it so quiet on this street but on the other street it was just busy and loud and he said they you know how the mayor went through and cleaned up all the working girls. I call it what it is, prostitution, man. 
the reason and I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I do remember seeing streets that look just like this all on TikTok and YouTube and the girls walk up and they're all aggressive. Maybe that's maybe this is the same spot as what I'm thinking now. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the busiest spots. This where it was just a lot of culture. The the buildings look similar. Beautiful because there's so much more to people. So much more to people. Dime, 
dime Siempre fuiste la coqueta Dime lo que, dime lo que tú quieres de mi coqueta Sé lo que te gusta es salir y se suelta Cuando baila reggaeton pa' mí, que muñeca Le gusta salir y se dosir 